Hi, my name's Clive Cooter from Crafts U Print, and I'm going to show you a few things you can do with my uh, Craft Robo designs. Um, I'm going to be using uh, this time a uh, Border Edge card 24, which is CUP 196 181 underscore 198, but you can use the same principle on the majority of my cards. I'm going to be using some embossing powder. And I've cut two copies of the card with the backing plate. So, first of all, I'm going to take the backing plate and making sure it's the right way up, spray one side of the backing plate with repositionable glue. I use quick mount. Q Connect, which is very cheap. You can get it on Amazon for a big can for about five pounds. It's repositionable, but I find it does the job very well. So, spray the back. It's easier if you catch the excess in a, a cardboard box lid, for instance. So, spray the entire area of the backing plate and taking one of the cut cards fold it down to the score line position it on the inside as I say make sure it's the right way up The good thing about repositionable glue is obviously you can reposition it if you don't get it completely in line the first time. But that's pretty good. So there you have the cards with the glue showing through the apertures. So now take some embossing powder. Cover the apertures where the glue is showing through, making sure it's stuck down onto the backing plate. So cover it liberally. And just tap off the excess. You may have speckles around uh, where it's uh, on the actual card. Some people use chalk or anti-static pads or a brush to brush it off. But I'm just going to leave it there because I've got a lazy way of solving that. So now you take your heat gun. So that's after the heat gun has been applied and uh, the embossing powder has melted. You'll notice the speckles uh, now show up even more around the edges, but I said there was a lazy way to uh, eliminate that and also add uh, more solidity to the front of the card. Take your second cut card. Following the score line, just cut down the middle. You could set the craft rope up your software to cut the line, change the score line to a cut line, but you could equally just uh, cut it as is and then use a craft knife, like I'm doing. So, cut down the score line, and again, making sure it's you're spraying the correct side. Spray glue the second copy of the front. I didn't use my box that time because I forgot, but never mind. So, again, lining up the front over the 
duplicate design behind. Carefully lay it down in place. And that's the finished first part of the card. What I've done now, if I can find them, I've done exactly the same, using exactly the same method with two of my butterflies, which can be found on um, CUP 196218 underscore 198. That is entitled Four Butterflies and Hummingbird. But I've used two of the butterflies and, as you can see, embossed in exactly the same way. And I'm going to place those on the front of my card. Using silicon glue. So I apply the silicon glue along the spine of the butterfly, bending up the wings and put it in position. You can move, move them afterwards if you use silicon glue, which is the joy of it. This is the completed cards with the butterflies in position. I've uh, done a, a butterfly trail with quickie glue pen and matching glitter. Um, I've used matching glitter and a, with a quickie glue pen around the edges of the top of the two butterflies here as well. It's taken from my different size butterflies, CUP 244992 underscore 198. Uh, those butterflies have been slightly increased in size for the card. I've also um, included a happy birthday plaque taken from my faux silver engraved greetings plaques which can be done on other on any color of mirror board uh, the cup number is 242836 underscore 198 you can also use the same principle on my spiral flowers which is cup 225832 underscore 198 um, I used the backing sheet which is included, uh, printed it and cut out um, the spiral shape. So on one side there's the blue alcohol ink effect. But turn it over and on the blank side we apply the repositionable glue. So when that's done, obviously there's a gap in the middle of where the embossing powder came off, but that won't show. Starting at the end, if I can find it, <coughs> and turning into the embossing side roll very tightly and keep rolling until you reach the end. When you reach the end just let it go and it forms the flower. To hold that in place Use a blob of PVA glue in the bottom part, the base of the flower. Press down firmly and just leave to dry. <coughs> 